Hello guys, this is Donald's Movies, and I'm pretty sure all of you guys are aware of the new expansion, World of Warcraft The Legion, and since pretty much every other YouTuber, every other site is gonna cover what's going on, like the PvP, the PvE, I just thought I would give my own opinions on the lore side of things, the story, the elements, and all that stuff. Also, since there is just so much lore, I will have a lot of work to do covering all this stuff before the expansion is released, which I'm hoping is going to be soon, and I will also do a video at some point similar to what I did for the Warcraft movie so like all of the lore you need for the next expansion so let's just not waste any more time and let's just get into the content. Okay, so first off, it is kind of hard to start because there is just so much lore, so much stuff, and in my opinion, this is just like the most lore-rich expansion pretty much ever released. I mean, sure, we had Brand of the Lich King, Cataclysm, but almost all of those were just about a single story, like defeating the Lich King or the story of like Deathwing pretty much, but now it's like all of the cool lore stuff pretty much together. Now... The main plot is the Burning Legion invasion, this is the third and the biggest Burning Legion invasion ever, and that is seriously saying something, because the first two were not a walk in the park, they were absolutely huge, I mean, the first one almost destroyed the entire world, and the second one almost destroyed it again, although it didn't really do any significant damage. Also, we will see the Demon Hunters, which a lot of you guys have asked me earlier, and they will apparently be a, like a new race of elves that have lived in the lost city of Suramar, which was once the capital and like a night elven city then we will get like the emerald nightmare xavier small fury and then all that stuff from the storm rage novel then we will get the vrykel and apparently like their sacred land and like all the other zones around the dimension and there will also be a dungeon which will be like a reference to Valhalla, which i think is pretty awesome because we all know the vrykels are pretty much based on the vikings and to tie it all together, the titans will also play a big part, so this is just so much stuff to talk about. Now, I'm not certain if they will, like, return or not, but they did say that there is no way we can defeat them alone, and that we need to gather some, like, titanic artifacts, like some pillars of some sorts, in all these, like, new dungeons they're gonna add. So, my speculation is that we'll maybe see Sergeras, like, he might be reborn by the end of the expansion, and possibly some of the titans, more specifically the Pantheon, will return to help us fight him and this is something I mentioned pretty much in every speculation video I made. So, at this point, there is just like so much stuff, it's just so overwhelming, I'm kinda sorry for rambling, but there is just like so much stuff to talk about, and all this stuff is what you guys asked me in the Q&As, and what I speculated to be the final expansion, which I'm really hoping this is not the final expansion, because from this thing, we're like, World of Warcraft can definitely grow. But then, there is also the new Burning Legion lore, I mean, the main focus of the expansion will be on the Tome of Sargeras, and from what I understood, that is where the portal will be, and it will be like, gigantic which is why we need a titanic support to stop it and then there are also the other zones around it and pretty much the entire expansion will be based like around the center of the world where the pretty much the world of eternity exploded so it will be a really amazing place to kind of explore also there is new sargeras lore apparently when he was a good titan he created like this small world i don't know if it's small but it kind of looked small where he captured all of the demons he defeated and once he turned evil like he turned into the sargeras that we know of he really released all of them and he pretty much created the new burning legion which is an amazing concept like i didn't really know that before i mean no one really did it is a new thing so in my personal opinion this expansion is definitely going to be the best expansion lore wise and that is what i personally care the most about i know some of you guys don't really care about the lore that much i know some of you care more about the pvp the pv and all the other aspects but i'm just blown away by all this new content because i feel like they took all of the feedback from people like they were saying that all of the lore was in the books so they finally decided to take like all of the lore from the books and finally put it into the game so we will get characters like Xavius, which i mentioned in my satyr video quite recently also lord ravencrest and generally just a lot of stuff from the books and all these like cool characters maybe even broxigar at some point <laughs> no one really knows also, we have seen like Grown Up Anduin, which was a character that has been built pretty much since the Shattering, so for like the past 5 or 6 years. Also Varian, Khadgar, Gul'dan, and all these big names. We have also seen Kenazen for some reason, I'm not certain if that is about Medivh or just Khadgar being there and finding some possible secrets from like the home of Medivh, maybe there will be something there that will help us stop the Burning Legion, so we'll just have to find out. On the bad part, I mean there's always a bad part, and I, I was kind of 
really disappointing at first, but I guess I'll get over it at some point, and that is the new weapon stuff now. I know some of you don't really care about it, but I personally just think it is really lame. Apparently, like, all the classes will get their own zone and weapons, which is really an amazing concept. I'm kind of glad they're doing that, creating all these, like, spec missions and all that stuff, so you kind of feel a bit better about choosing your class. But the bad thing is, is that, for example, the Death Knights will be able to build a weapon from the Shards of Frostborn, the Shamans will be able to use the Doom Hammer, also Felomelorn, the Sunsider Sword and the Ashbringer will be used as well. And I just think from the lore perspective that it is a really bad thing because every other person on the server is going to be wielding these weapons and I know we have been wielding like the Glaives of Azenoth, the Hammer of Ragnaros, but those weapons were really rare, but now like pretty much everyone will have access to like these legendary lore weapons and these weapons are way bigger than the Glaives of Azenoth because the Doom Hammer is the Hammer of the Prophecy which bound the old horde and created the new horde, Ashbringer defeated to the Lich King, Frostmourne is the reason why Artis was corrupted and it pretty much created the entire Artis storyline, the Scourge, the all everything pretty much about the Wrath of the Lich King, so I just think it is kind of lame if everyone is building such legendary weapons and I just don't think it is a good thing, but I guess I'll get over it eventually, I mean it's, it's not gonna be like the worst thing about the expansion because there is just so much amazing stuff. And for the end we will also see the Eye of Ashara, which sadly is not the expansion, it is just a dungeon, but we might still see Ashara and we will definitely see the Naga, so it is a good thing, at least we'll get something from the other expansion speculation I created earlier. And also as I mentioned, the new race of elves that has evolved, so we will have like a third variation of the Highborn, which I'm guessing is going to be different from the first two, the Satyr and the Naga. And that is pretty much all I have for this video, I'm sorry for the video being a bit rushed, I just wanted to get my thoughts out as soon as possible, and I just have so much work to do about this new expansion, I have all these lore videos to create about these weapons, the new characters, the cities, and all of this stuff, so I definitely have my hands full for like the next year until like the expansion is released, I'm guessing. So, do leave your thoughts on what you think about the expansion, and I generally do care what you guys think about the expansion, if you think it is a good thing or a bad thing. And also what to think about these weapons because I, I'm definitely not okay with this concept. And thanks a lot for taking your time out of the day to watch this video, also don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel and keeps all the videos going, and see you next time.